Let's go, it's the Whitey Show. A new Tales game. Another Tales game. Is that bad? No, that just means that you gather a group of your buddies, or actually they start off as strangers, and then you become bestest buddies and defeat the big bad baddies. The tale is about Mila and Jude, two people who are nothing alike. Actually, Mila is a catalyst for the and the owner of the four great spirits. You'll find out throughout the story that spirits and humans team up together to make the world beautiful. Soon into the story, Jude and Mila team up and begin their search to stop the evil baddies from, sorry if I'm saying this wrong, Radigal, Radigal, Ragagul. I'm sorry, I'm really bad with pronouncing names from Japan. I'm sorry. That was ages ago, though. Not sure what's holding him up. He's still in the village, right? The gameplay takes a similar idea from all Tales games, moving into this 3D type environment but having this 2D uh, side type gameplay, it's hard to explain, but you will slice, you will punch, and you will summon elements for your way to beat the bad creatures and the bad people. You now have this new feature called linking, and you'll link with another person on stage which lets you combine your arts, which are specials in the game, with other characters to form a mega super excellent awesome art attack. It's new, and it's badass. So, is this the best Tales game that you can buy right now in this current gen? Let's find out. Far too easy. The first good, and probably the biggest, is the combat. It's always fun to have exciting looking combat, but it's also fun to actually have exciting playing combat system in an RPG. Tails never really fails here in my opinion. The combos you can pull off, links and arts are all a great uh, way to uh, kind of get you involved in the gameplay and just instead of just watching it. And that's not always bad to watch it, but it's really cool to be a part of it sometimes. And they, not to mention, look cool when you're kicking ass. Um, also, it's one of the only co-op RPGs around, which is great. And Kelly and I had a blast with the battle system in this one. <laughs> Another positive is the length. Well, again, like most Tales games, you're looking at anywhere from around 40 to 60 hours of content. I mean, shit, if that ain't enough for you, well, something's wrong with you or you have to get another hobby. Also saying that, there's plenty of different equipment to get, weapons, and accessories. You gotta love being able to put on goofy weird glasses, weird hair pieces, dog tails, and more. The story is actually pretty strong here. Sure, it's filled with cliches and it has a very strong anime vibe, but sometimes it's fun to get lost in that. And I'll get to some of the dialogue and why it hurts it a little bit later on, but for now I'm gonna say I was interested to see where these characters would go. With a few twists on the way actually surprising me, I was overall very happy with the progression of both my characters and the stories that accompanied them. And I thought Sean Du was an odd bird. Look at this place. The spirit faith is stronger here in Ajul than it is in Rashigal. The art style is once again top notch and definitely a strong anime vibe to it. I doubt anyone could say that the actual artwork is bad. You might be able to rag on the graphical power though, which we'll get to in the end. But overall art design wise, it looks great. Also the sound is fun and always cheerful or haunting mattering which scene you're at. Oh, it had nothing to do with combat, just part of my daily life. You know me, always a girl on each arm. And it would be rude to handle each of them differently. What? And here I was starting to respect you. I'm leaving. Are two arms even enough for you? With a woman of your stature, maybe not. Good. I'd hate for you to think that you can handle me with just one. The bads. Well, I can't think of too many here. If I had to count one, it would be the long and drawn out cutscenes at times. Being told things once or twice is fine, but sometimes a third or fourth or maybe even fifth time is just unnecessary. We aren't two years old. We get what you're trying to say. But the other bad was some of the dialogue. Awkward, silly, bad. I'm not saying it all is. Not at all. Far from it. It's just that some of it can definitely use some work or stronger voice acting. One or the other here. 
The only true ugly feature are some of the recycled areas and enemies. It's not the worst thing in the world because a lot of RPGs do have recycled things, but it's noticeable here. Reason I bring it up is because it's less apparent in previous Tales titles. So it, it made a bigger impact. It's not game breaky, but it's just noticeable and let's be honest, a bit too lazy for my liking for a Tales title. Brings us to the Vertec. Um, Tales is a Tales game. If you played an RPG similar to old school RPG fun style gameplay. Um, it, it's very interactive combat. It's, it's one of the only co-op games which is awesome because I got to actually play with Kelly. And it's also beautiful to look at in terms of art design. So I personally love the Tales game. Tales of Asparia is still my favorite Tales game. But this is my second favorite. And then Symphonia and Abyss after that. Actually, I put a bit over. Well, anyway, point is, this is definitely worth your time if you're an RPG fan. If you are a Japanese RPG fan and looking to play a Japanese RPG that's good and you don't want to pick up Time and Eternity, which I heard suck balls, this is the game that you should look at. Long, fun, and exciting. That is what she said. Yes, that was a good one. Fuck you. Seriously, though, definitely worth the money. Um, you know, I, I, I'm enjoying it, I'm loving it, I'm playing it, I'm doing content in it, I'm, I'm just having a blast. Especially, again, the fact that it's co-op, there's not enough RPGs that are. So, picking it up, yes. The score I'm giving it, what's this? That's right, that's how I write an 8. An 8. An 8 out of 10. It's a great RPG, definitely worth your time, a few flaws. Mostly problems with every Japanese RPG that could be addressed and should be addressed, which I heard is actually some of it is addressed in Tales of Exilia 2, which comes out later in 2014 in America. So, again, should you pick this up? Yes. What's the score? 8 out of 10. Scores are back for people who wanted it. I'm going to give it to you, but you should listen to my good points, my bad points, and my ugly points, because those are really important. Uh, it will affect if you want to buy the game. Uh, and that's it. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. The one thing, the one thing that fucking drives me absolutely insane in an RPG is this. Are we gonna get there? Dot, 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 dot. Who stands there after someone asks them a question and just goes, Who fucking does that? That drives me crazy. Get the shit out of you, yeah! It's fucking amazing. I know it's in a rapper. Shut up. To support my book, easily just go on Amazon.com, type in Exterminators Infected, and either pick the ebook or the paperback and purchase. Thank you very much for the support, it means a lot. Jesus.